It was a pretty nice day in early December, so I headed over to the Olympic Peninsula to explore the Elwha River. This summer they blew up the two dams that had held back the river for nearly a hundred years, and now the lake beds were dry and the river was returning to its natural state, ready for the hoped for return of salmon. So I was going over to take a look. Getting on to the ferry, the 750 sailing out of Edmonds. Believe it or not, this doesn't look like horrible weather. Okay, so I'm off here at Whiskey Bend Road, uh, going up through this uh, old rainforest. The freakishly narrow little road. Came out this long and torturous uh, Whiskey Bend Road, and now I'm gonna go down here and walk down to Lake Mills. I don't know if this is gonna be able to capture how cool this is, but I'm walking down from this upper trail down to what was once this lake and is now the recovering Elwha River. Here I am at the upper end of what was once Lake Mills. We'll kind of look off to our north. You can see the old lake bottom, the edge of where the uh, lake bed once was, and the Elwha River flowing down beneath it. Now we're looking up the Elwha, and it's just all these cobbly rocks that I'm on right now. Some little fork that's blending in right there. You can just see this rocky old lake bed. And I took a couple of still photos uh, coming down through the woods and then here's one where we're looking upstream up the Elwha River and up into the mountains and a couple of the downstream views. It was just beautiful. The sun was coming out for a little while. It didn't last for terribly long. Now I'm at the upper reaches of Lake Aldwell, and uh, I don't know if you can see this old tree that must have sat buried underwater with the loggers' packs in it. It's the weirdest damn thing, walking along this trail, and these branches are just quivering. It's not breezy right here. This is the quivering tree from the other side. It's just the damnedest thing. All I can think of is that the other end of this tree must be dipped down into the river there and it's just getting continually uh, jiggled. This is a pretty damn beat trail on the midway point down the Elwha, but I think I'm going to be able to get down to the old lake bed. Okay, now I'm down by the river and uh, you can see all these old stumps from what was once logged out and then they flooded the whole thing and this is a lake bottom. Pretty shallow lake bottom right here. Just hoping we could get the sound of the river below. And here's a couple stills to just show a much different uh, lake bottom. Much siltier. Uh, many many more trees sticking out of the lake bottom but again really uh, beautiful and cool views. So here's where the dam used to be. You can see the river running down to the left there. They built this big engineered uh, dike. I don't know what the hell you call it. I'm here at the end of my little adventure where the Elwha empties into the ocean here. You can hear the waves crashing in the background. It's kind of pretty looking up there toward Vancouver Island. Pan around back toward the mountains. Very pretty day.